Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Temenin. Today we're gonna check the news for the November update, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So we got a lot of content right now, which is nice. So let's get right into it. And first of all, we have the renewal of uh, Kurenai, which seems kind of lazy for what I have seen, but I'll analyze that in her own separate video. But it is not just uh, like super lazy. There, there's a couple good tweaks on her kit, uh, which make her a little bit more viable because she, she was definitely lacking. So obviously with her renewal, there comes a bunch of packs and different things. Um, the Kurenai Reborn pack, obviously the huge fan pack comes with the new weapon, with the Oni skin, which was her desire skin. No, it wasn't her desire skin. It was a second desire skin, I don't remember, but it comes with the Oni skin. Uh, it also has one demonite, it has 40 AP supply, it has 20 VP supply, and it also has this uh, gacha coin box, which you can select the currency, and obviously you're gonna select the limited one, please do so. And it gives you 10 coins of whatever coin you select. So basically 10 limited gacha coins, which is pretty good. So this pack is fine, if you want to grab it, okay. Uh, if you think that uh, the renewal is mostly the weapon and you disagree with what Gregory did, then don't buy it. That's the, your way to to uh, let them don't know that you are not okay with their job, just so that you know. And the other pack, the new fan pack, but the, the one that comes with the skins and the character. Obviously, it comes with the character, which is good. It comes with another copy of Twin Sword. IR and UV, it comes with the Oni skin again, and if you buy the two of them, you're gonna exchange this for um, 500 gems, I think. Then it comes with a bunch of seasonal skins for her, as well as some permanent skins. So you can grab her, and if you have these skins, you're gonna grab uh, gems instead. So don't worry too much, it's a way to get gems. <sighs> And here it is, the issue. Ticket, renewal limited supporter. Okay, so the problem here is the word ticket. It should say voucher. After all, this is a $44, uh, $45 uh, dollar pack. So they shouldn't give us random stuff. I mean, okay, I get it. It is not as bad, but for someone like me who already has some uh, limited supporters max out this is not as appealing because there's a chance to get something uh, that I already have max out but I'll admit this one isn't as bad first of all it comes with a bunch and I mean a bunch of character release supporters which are very very rare and you cannot get them it also comes with the character set limited supporters, which are rare, but they do get reruns. And oddly enough, it also comes with a couple special supporters in the form of holiday supporters, like uh, New Year, New Lightning Yukikase. We also have Holy Night Rinko, Holy Night Ingrid. Little Witch Sue, she counts as a holiday supporter and she's treated like a standard supporter because you roll her with, with bad coins. But if I'm not mistaken, the uh, these two are going to be with limited coins. Keep that in mind. And Punisher Yukikase. Punisher Yukikase is her own unique kind of limited supporter because it was not tied to a character release and nor an event nor, nor anything. It's just her and she exists. And grabbing a copy of this wouldn't be that bad, just for the formations at least. So yeah, the ticket is not horrible, but it is a ticket, so it's not as appealing. If you disagree with this approach, do not buy this. That's one way of seeing it. Uh, but it is a decent park for grabbing gems if you already have 
all of this. In my case, I could grab this if I need it for gems. I'll, I'll see, I'll see. Uh, but this one, this one is okay, just because it's cheaper than the monthly uh, demonite. So keep that in mind if you're going to spend. Not only do we have this, we also have obviously a banner for Kurenai, and it comes with the new weapon. The new weapon, Twin Swing Sword IR and UV, is going to. Uh, it says normal attacks have a 25% chance to increase the speed by 6%. That's going to be 12% for 8 seconds and inflict wind scar on the enemy. Uh, fortunately, wind scar is not a unique effect from the from the weapon. It, it is her the new passive of Kurenai. So don't think uh, too bad about this weapon. Then, the tornado's attack generate, generated by wind car is applied with 100% penetration and the damage dealt is increased by uh, 120% that goes up to, to 240%. Um, honestly, it is not that impressive of a weapon. I, I, I mean, yeah, you get some amount of damage. The tornado has supports to deal at decent amount of damage and with this they got guaranteed penetration and increased damage which is nice so the, yeah it, it can turn into a menace uh, but the main appeal is supposed to be the the speed increase uh, which I'll admit it, it, Kurena is not that slow uh, I mean kind of compared to modern standard, standards but if you use the basic enhancer it can uh, be fast and we have a good amount of speed increase supporters and I think it is fine for the most part this weapon but definitely this is not uh, well right now first impression I don't think it is absolutely necessary that might change I'll, I'll see if I grab a copy or two of this and I test it uh, let's see well not only do we have the character banner we also have of course the campaign so uh, increase the level, awaken the character, increase the affinity. Uh, as you can see, I have it at 17, which means that uh, you, you progress even though you may have already done this. And uh, customs, and also uh, complete missions with this character. So if you have this, you're going gra to grab a bunch of gems. And we still have the Inageya, Inage, uh, not the Inageya, the Inage uh, campaign. So be sure to clear that if you have Inage. Then let me check. Uh, what else? The pack, the renewal achievement. Yes, yes, yes. Then balance adjustments. We're going to check that in, in her video, all the... Uh, changes that Kurenai experience but if we go to Kurenai you're gonna see that now she has a leader skill yay unlike Kirara <coughs> well uh, that's an improvement at the very least then um, November seasonal uh, season event let's see give for all users who log in daily oh wait 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 I, I didn't mention it but uh, they already give the rewards for completing the uh, questionnaire that they uh, give the, the survey the survey and unfortunately I didn't get anything but maybe some of you got it let me know in the comments if you did get something then mm -hmm. uh, give to all users who log in daily uh, yeah o unfortunately right now at the time of recording I don't have the login bonus just yet but there's gonna be a login bonus obviously you have already seen it in the video, uh, the, the video of uh, Action Time Manual Official. Let's see, what else? Uh, surprise mission and surprise campaigns. Nice, nice, nice. So what campaigns and missions do we have? Awaken supporter Violet Witch Sanada Ho Violent Witch Sanada Homura two times, which is going to be the, the event supporter. Recruits uh, Homura complete event stages so they want you to do the event even though it is not the best supporter in the world they, they want you to to enhance it and uh, AP multiplier increase uh, 
by five in events. So basically, <laughs> uh, this week they want us to, the Gregory wants us to complete the event, which is fine. And then, what else do we have? Uh huh. You are Magatema ticket. Nice. Well, we're gonna get a you are Magatema ticket. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's a you are Magatema ticket. I thought it was the attribute exchange ticket, but it's not. Uh, no, this is whatever. Operational plan, uh, enchant booster, rotation gacha. The, the best thing that they're giving in these missions is the rotation gacha. Let's see. November mission event now live, clear various mission during a total of seven days and receive limited commander mark and various rewards to a small gift. Uh huh. I, I didn't see that, but if you join the game before the maintenance, November 5, your mission event will start after an up. Uh, okay, that explains. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Limited supporter UR Massacre Kurenai will be added to the arena store top level. Yeah, um, that's why I refill this because right now I haven't farmed. But here in the store, you can finally grab the last copy of Kurenai. As supposedly, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna receive a mission, a mission at some point to grab the last copy of Grindhouse, the, the weapon. So keep an eye on that. Uh, then the new event, Halloween Ghost Gone Missing, is open. So yeah, we, we do have an event, uh, Halloween Ghost Gone Missing, uh, which you should do to grab the supporter. Fortitude increases by 8% when HP is below 30%. Oof. Uh, after the arrival of Corrine, I, I thought that Grimory was going to be smarter about this, but it seems that Corrine was a one-time thing. Uh, the the 30% uh, HP, below 30% HP activation is horrible. They shouldn't do that. They should do it around 50 if they want risk. 40 for, for Corrine was fine, but... God, is this bad? Uh, well, anyways, uh, and the duration of the buffs is, is just atrocious as five seconds and sixty-five second cooldown. Well, let's see. Yeah, we have a classic crystal over here, and what else? Uh huh. Oh yeah, more gacha, more gacha. So, let me tell you, we also have. Asusas, Asusas gacha. Asusa mm, seems like a good supporter to me. I, I did a hundred rolls and I grabbed two copies. I grabbed another one from the PD. I grabbed another one from the Desire Shop. So I have it at four out of five, which is pretty good. Uh, I could use uh, a, nano a nano machine or I could just wait for the renewal to grab the last copy. But it's it's fine for the most part. So. Increases speed of human type characters by 8%. That's going to be 16% uh, when maxed out. Increases penetration of ally human type characters by 11%. That's going to be 22% when maxed out. So, um, important things. This, first of all, is going to be... I think that is, this is the only supporter. No, there's probably another one, but probably not a good one. It is probably the first good supporter that enhances your human teams. We have things like Lapis, which enhances Demon. Uh, also, Worshipper Lapis, that enhances Demon too, uh, but on critical rate. We have things like, um, I think it's Shisui, which enhances Suppress and such. So uh, we don't have that many for human. And now we have a supporter that enhances your human teams. The speed is only for the character who has this equipped, but this is for the team, so it's great. Then, finds the enemy's weak point every 10 seconds with Mind's Eye and decreases their critical resistance of nearby enemies by 28% for 6 seconds. Mm, 6 seconds every 10 seconds. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a good duration. It allows you to crit every now and then on BR, and I think it's okay. Uh, then... Enters an invulnerable state for a short period of time uh, and, a and performs a stabbing attack that deals consecutive damage to the enemies in front equal to 
uh, oof, 640 of the attack. My god, that damage is atrocious. It is just too low. Mm. Like, the active is horrible. The extra passive is not bad. But, god, that's low. Well, anyways. If you want to grab this, grab it. It's going to be limited. We still got this one. And it's probably a really good idea to keep rolling on this if you want. Um, in my opinion, I would take the risk of uh, not having the information yet for... Uh, what's the name? For... Uh, Francis. We're gonna receive Francis limited uh, supporter, but this goes away on November 11, and I highly doubt that we're gonna receive information on the specific effect, the specific effect of the supporter and weapon of Francis. So um, it is. I, I don't think it's very likely that Francis supporter is gonna be OP. So if you want to grab this, uh, spend your resources here or on this one or on this one that's okay in my opinion uh, i hope that this best is in that the bet is on our side and it is not uh, that impactful anyways uh, let's continue uh other than the pick of gacha we have yeah the private room package renewal so the private room got renewed uh, renewed and that's why we have these packages and uh, the packages are in discount it, it is pretty dumb but it activates FOMO, you know? So, I mean, basically they, they intended this to be the price, but they say, nah, let's do a discount. And it's like, no, th this is what you want to sell it to begin with. So it's a one-time thing. It's not going to repeat. Why do you say discount? <laughs> well, in any case, this is going to give you 800 gems if you already have this. So it's going to be 1,600. 1,600 gems. Um... Which is not bad, but I don't think this price justifies that. Uh, it, I, I would recommend other deals. And uh, now, this one is way worse because you get the 800 and you get two customs of 500. So it's uh, 100, 1,800. And well, if you want to grab this for the mummy custom, I won't uh, judge you. It is one of the early customs that we got in the game so not many people have it but we have had some opportunities to grab this uh, let's see we also have the custom for um, Tokiko and in my opinion this is one of the best customs for Tokiko I, I don't like that much her design but I do like that custom let's see what else do we have um Private room improvements, celebration, blah, blah, blah. Pri private room update. Yeah. So basically the private room got updated and it got updated pretty well. So private room tutorial, move the camera. Nice, nice, nice. And we can check a video. Uh, it has a, a, a guide. Nice. Private room tutorial, moving character. Virtual pad. Mm-hmm. Place your character customs on and mo or monsters. Uh-huh. Move your character joints and put your and put them in various positions. You can save now some positions that you make yourself. Yeah, it, it's nice. It's very nice. Look at this. Yes, yes, yes. So and we can select the, the specific part. That we want to rotate. Yeah, that is going to make things so much easier. Anyways, yeah. Here is the the private room if you want to do that. And it's now bearable to try to and make an effort to do a nice uh, private room. Let's see. Mm, golden pass of course we have the golden pass a new golden pass obviously it comes with the skin for um cop cop rinko uh not rinko rin cop rin and oh yeah they, they they move it after the renewal of the pack and now the path is over here i almost forgot 
Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit sleepy. It's late. Um, oh, yeah, we got the Maid of Gosha. Uh, so I go to the store, I go to customs, I go to uh, Maid, 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 Maid. So, yeah, new. This is new. You should grab it if you want. Uh, it is it is nice. Uh, but it is Kirara. Mm. <laughs> Kirara, you know. Uh, action time is for anniversary survey event rewards. Yeah, they should give rewards to everyone regardless. I, I mean, they can do this a random competition for sure. But they should also give the... Like, I don't know, a couple coins or whatever to everyone who answers the survey. Um, and box fixes. Woof, box fixes. So now the club login bonus will go straight to the, mail, to the mailbox when you open the club page. And the number of items remaining will display when donating the club to the club. Okay. Yeah, like, actually, they... Mm, another recommendation, Grimory. Why not add a slider here to donate more than once? That would be nice. Uh, yeah, because there is no reason to click and click and click five times if I want to donate those materials. And another horrible thing that, that they just corrected was this, like... Mm, I do, I have missed like a whole week because I not, not always do I enter this specific tab of the club. So in fact, they shouldn't do it so that uh, it these logins activate on the club. They should activate when you enter the game. I, I don't see a reason why they, they should do them. Uh, they should have their own tab in club. Uh, so... It is weird, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Fix a normality where club... <sighs> Sorry. A club application uh, list wouldn't display properly. Uh, fix a normality in Battle Arena where the skill effect of support Coir Phantasma was applied to characters who don't have the support equipment. <laughs> Okay, that, that's funny. That's funny. I, I guess that in your matches, that isn't funny, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, fix a normality where the skill shadow the stick of the playable character Psychedel abnormal damage in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Fix a normality where the, an error code would appear during certain steps uh, when using special activity facilities. Uh huh. Fix a normality where damage of the clone from skill Momochi style Scorpion of player of playable character Nagi was ap applied abnormally in certain situations. Update the reward image on the store page for Halloween Vampire Pack. Halloween Vampire Pack. They updated it. Uh, what was the previous one? What did they update it? Well. You let me know, guys. I am not good at all um, details. Maybe I should watch my own video, the previous one, and see what is the difference. But supposedly there's a difference. Okay. A normality where characters would appear incorrectly in some scenarios. A typological errors in certain languages. That's interesting. That's interesting. Is it possible that finally Murasaki... They corrected the name because for those who do not know, it is super hilarious and very annoying at the same time. Rengenki is the name of Great Axe, uh, Senpu. And Senpu is the name of Rengenki in Spanish. I mean, that wouldn't be important if not for the fact that there's a weapon which enhances Rengenki. And it doesn't matter if they change the name. It's going to enhance the red skill. That's what it means. So I hope that they corrected that. Let's see. Um, the window of time for a skill that activates do dodging immediately after the attack 
has been what? The window of time of all skills that activate dodging immediately after the tech has been increased? Did they just nerf all the perfect dodges? Or is it counters? No. Immediately after the attack. No, it's counters. Did they just nerf counters? No. Uh, I have to read the definition of... Uh, who has... Uh, yeah, Fantasma. Fantasma has uh, both counter and... When doing an instant dodge, knock back enemies. Uh, when doing an instant dodge... Wasn't this a counter? Immediately after enemy attack. Immediately before enemy attack. And this is... Immediately after enemy attack. After the enemy attack. So... That's gonna be a nerf for all the counters? Is that it? I, I don't think that's a good idea. Counters already had to... Um, receive damage. To begin with that... That's what balanced them. Why make them even worse? They are not that great for the most part. There's a handful of good counters. And most of them are unviable. Like Micas. Micas is just atrocious. They shouldn't ever nerf counters. Uh, where is Mica? Mica. Yeah. And to <laughs> make it even worse, it's her awakening skill. The counter. Yeah, it's ugh, ugh, disgusting. They, they need to change this skill. I hope they change this skill in the future with her renewal. Uh, let's see. The damage calculation of the debuff puncture has been adjusted from the base attack value to the final attack value. Oh, oh, oh. That explains. That explains. That's why the, the, the debuff or the, the damage wasn't as big because they use the base attack instead of the, the final attack because they're not uh, using all the, the calculations for damage. They just use the, <laughs> the base damage. Okay, okay, okay. So that means that supposedly the, the puncture should be stronger, way stronger, um, which is nice. Or maybe it's just that they, they didn't factor in crits. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, suspension of cheaters. That's basically it, guys. Wow. 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 There were a lot of corrections in this update. Amazing. And yeah. Uh, be sure to grab. Be sure to grab your copies of Massacre Coronized, guys. You don't want to miss this one. Trust me. I, I mean, maybe you are not thrilled about uh, playing the um, a risky kind of gameplay, but it is useful. It is useful. Um, is it worthy to do the missions? To do the missions by combining the copies of Violet Witch Homura? Mm, I don't know. Maybe you you do want to. Uh, omit this one single coin in favor to just uh, re-roll those copies of Homura if you are not interested in keeping your Homura. I'll say, I'll, I'm going to keep at least one copy of Homura just in case. You never know when something is going to be good in the future. Like, <laughs> like Punisher Yukikaze, which everyone thought was going to be a great... Uh, Pick for farming, but nowadays uh, it's actually better for challenging content if you have uh, multiple copies of this because it is good for VR. So, yeah. Anyways, that's basically it, guys. Um, should, should you buy these packs? Mm, no, not really. Particularly, I, I'm annoyed by Kurenai's uh ticket dilemma here um, as a way to grab gems 
if you want it. It is not bad in my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments how many gems you can get if you have everything. Uh, so that all players know, because I cannot do the match right now, I'm sleeping. And this one, this one is fine if you want to, because it is cheaper than than uh, a monthly uh, pack for Demonite. And yeah, roll if you want, skip it if you want, this Corinna, I'm gonna test Corinna too. I think that her changes are, I didn't mention them, but they are a little bit basic by increasing the the um, AOE of most of her attacks. They, they didn't replace any attack, uh, but maybe that's gonna be enough. I, I gotta see. So that's it for today, guys. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.